In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a basic grayscale map of your study area. In this example, I'm going to use Toronto as the study area because that's the area that I'm from. Um, so once I zoom in, I'm going to pick a random location that has a good mix of different types of roads and environmental features. I think this is the Humber River here, so it looks like a good spot. And as you can see in the bottom right, I'm changing the base layer to one with labels so I can see where I am a bit easier. Now I'm going to click on the Layers button in the left menu panel and click on Base Layer. Here there are a few more options for different types of base layers, and I'm going to use a layer called Stamen Toner to give a black and white effect. As you can see, this has changed the base layer for the entire map. Now I find that the black in this base is a bit too harsh, so I have a little trick to mute it slightly so that any markup that I, does, any markup that I do really stands out. Um, so what I do is I add a markup by creating a large box around my working area, and then I change the fill color to white and add transparency so that it's around 50%. And then I remove the outline and I change the name so that I know what the layer is when it actually shows up in the layer list. So now when I actually zoom into the study area, the gray color of the roads is a bit easier on the eyes. So yeah, so now I'm going to zoom out to a larger area because I only really care about seeing the labels on the major roads. And I'm going to use the markup tool again to draw a polygon around this arbitrary study area. And uh, I've sped it up a little. I think this is about two times the speed I was actually drawing it at. And now I'm going to remove the fill because I just want to see the outline. And I'm changing the outline color to black and the width to six. I want this map to ultimately be inserted into a Word document, so I'm going to create a custom sized layout with dimensions of 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. Click create, and to add my map to the page, I click on map view and draw a box across the entire extent. And to zoom in and out within the actual map view, you first need to double click inside the map window. And now I'm just going to change formatting things. So for example, the north arrow, changing it to black, shrinking it a little bit. And if I change the border size to one, it just offsets it from the edge. And I'll do similar formatting changes with the scale bar. So changing it to black. I'm going to change the style to line and the font size to 10. Just make it a little bit smaller and just shrink that up so that it fits good and I'm going to add text now to just annotate what this area is. I'm just going to call it study area. Obviously you can call it whatever you need for your site. Center it and I'm just going to make the font a little bit bigger to size 12. You can zoom out and pan on the actual page size. Um, to pan you hold down your center scroll wheel and just move your mouse back and forth. And then once that's done, I'm clicking export PNG and I have an image file there. And this is the final product basically where I've dragged it into Word.